I hope your day is full of tarantulas and dragonflies and brown recluse spiders and black widows and flies and fleas and mosquitoes. Guys, it's an insect intro. Grasshoppers, praying mantises. Hope your day is full of all of those little insects, my little freaks. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. We have an amazing episode of Shank for you with the one, the only, Jamar Neighbors. But before we get into this week's episode of Shank with Jamar Neighbors, I just want to tell you a couple things. First, I'm going to be performing tonight in Silver Lake. That's May 3rd tonight. Silver Lake at El Cid at 8 p.m. Come out. Support live comedy. May 10th. That's next week. I am coming to Austin, Texas with Kim Congdon. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to be co-headlining at Sunset Strip Comedy Club on 6th Street. It's Red Band's new comedy club. Come support live comedy. Come out. It's going to be the the best time. And then we're coming to Chandler, Arizona, June 23rd and June 24th. Uh, We're doing four shows in Chandler, Arizona at Mike Drop Mania. That's me and Kim Congdon in June at Chandler, Arizona. And then um, subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Sarah Weinchank. And of course, I'm going to be coming to Skankfest. That's not till September. Kim and I will both be at Skankfest. Um, All right, guys, before we get into this week's episode of Shank with Jamar Neighbors, I just want you to look at your feet right now. Are you wearing socks? If you're not wearing socks, ask yourself why. Socks are essential. They protect your most valuable asset, your feet, your toes. Toes are a form of currency in 2023. Shop ohyeah.com. That's three O's, H-Y-E-A-H dot com. Oh yeah. Discount code Sarah, S-A-R-A, 10 for 10% off unique sock designs. Whether you're into lollipops or aliens or cacti, there's a pair of socks for you. They make great gifts for um, your lover, your brother, your friend your sister, your mister. Um, I rhyme. Give the gift of socks. It's a great way to support the people who are supporting your favorite podcast, Shank. That's oh yeah.com. Discount code Sarah, S-A-R-A 10 for 10% off. Um, all right, guys, let's do it. Let's get into this week's episode of Shank with the one and the only Jamar Neighbors. Here it is, everyone. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shank. I'm Sarah Weinshank, and today's guest is one of my good friends, comedian Jamar Neighbors. Hey, Sarah uh, Weinshank. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm good. I like your jacket. Um, thank you. Your face is still perfect. It is? Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> that shit don't fall off. Not yet. Yeah, 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 but, you But know. soon. In due time. Yeah, yeah, In due time, I will age. Yeah. And then that shit won't be perfect. And maybe you won't come do my podcast. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Well, my face starts sagging. Are you going to stop being my friend? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Same with yours. Yeah. I'm like, Uh yeah, we're fair weather friends. Wait, let me see this jacket. You You, like this jacket here? You got Pepe Le Pew on your uh, jacket? Yeah. Where is this from? This is from. Smock me? Smock me. Is that a brand? Yeah, it's my friend Mike's brand. Mike on Melrose. Mike on Melrose? Smock me. Okay. Smock me. <laughs> Talking to your Mike. Say it again. Smock me. Smock me. Smock me. Smock me, Mike. Yeah. On Melrose. This guy's blowing up. Fashion Week. A uh, 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 regular. A regular at Fashion Week? All the time. What's the name? Smock me. There it is. There it is. I like your ring. Thank you. Why, why we don't go shopping no more? Because you don't hit me up to go shopping. Yeah, you be bouncing around, doing, uh, your, little, <laughs> doing your little shit. What do you mean? I'm you know a busy fuck little I mean. bee. Yeah, ain't nobody that goddamn busy to go shopping, to not go shopping with me. Well, you're not inviting me to go shopping. You don't invite me to make plans, and then you get mad at me because I don't invite you to make plans. But you don't invite me to make plans. And when you invite me to make plans, it's like 10 minutes before. Yeah, You'll I'm be a, like, I'm, I'm going to the hood. You want to come? Well, my auntie's having a barbecue, and you're going to miss it. And I'm like, well, you just told me five minutes before the barbecue. I'm a last-minute guy. I thought you were a spontaneous person. I can be. No, you can't. No. I, I like, <laughs> you cannot. I feel spontaneous. You're not spontaneous I like a plan. I like a plan. You can be spontaneous in the plan. Yes. If I know that there's a plan in place, 
when the plan is activated, I can be spontaneous within that plan. Is this the same podcast I did in Topanga Canyon? Yes. Oh, but just upgrade it? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Mo- mommy grew up okay jamar okay cool 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 cool. i like that yeah what's going on what's how long you been here? here um how long have i been recording here a little more than six months now a little more than six months now oh See? really yeah oh okay. I'm, I'm a grown-ass woman now you that's took a good. scooter here that, did take that a threw here. me off do you like lime scooters um i can't say i've actually been on a lime scooter uh, okay why have you do, have you driven around with another person on your lime scooter before yeah, my little uh, yeah, my little nephews. They be they introduced me to lime scooters. I never knew how they work. But how long have you been using lime scooters as transpo? Like as a, transpo. a year and a half. Really? Yeah. No, because you have a car. Yeah, but to get around like locally and shit is really fun. Like you prefer it. Mm-hmm. Um. Yep. I saw you on your cupcake show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you did you like it? I did. Jamar's on the show this full. How do you get your teeth so white? I whiten them. You you do? Yeah. Let me see. Damn. Any other questions? And you only use straws, huh? I love straws. Yeah. Do you use straws? No. Do you do a sugar scrub on your lips and all that shit? (laughs) Sometimes. Do you do a sugar scrub on your lips? Uh Uh-uh. Why? I just lick my shit a lot. That's why they be pink. (laughs) That's not related. If you lick your lips, that doesn't make them pink. Mm -hmm. I like lick the brown off of them. (laughs) (laughs) You're lying. I lick the fuck up my lips. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to these teeth. Do you not? Do you not eat a lot of sugar? I eat sugar, but I've I've been cutting sugar back. Really? Yeah. Do you eat a lot of sugar? Yeah, you do. You love your um. What is that? An uncrustable. I ain't had no motherfucking Uncrustable in a year. Really? Yeah. I thought that's what you lived off of. No, in the pandemic, it, I lived off of Uncrustables. Yeah. Yeah. I have one, an Uncrustable in the back of my freezer. It's you do? It's been sitting there. Yeah. It's strawberry, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like a strawberry Uncrustable person. I do. I do like an Uncrustable. Have you guys had Uncrustables? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm how like, often do you go to the dentist? You guys di- know about these things? They're how called Uncrustables. How often like, do you yeah. go to the dentist? Um, every six months. Really? Like regularly? Yeah. Oh, that's my problem. What's going on with you? You're not going to the dentist? Nah, I'm scared of them boys. Why? Do you had a bad experience? Yeah. Just because you got to go more regularly. If you go more regularly, it won't be as scary. For real? Yeah. Oh. I remember when I was six. What happened? I went to the dentist for the first time ever. Yeah. And I, uh, and... And I jumped out of the chair and I ran down the street and then my auntie had to chase me. And then she was like, Jamar, why you run out of there? She, she was like, why you run out of there? Why you run out of there? And it was like, they were trying to kill me. <laughs> it was like, cause you know, all the drills and shit be like yeah. scary to the motherfucker. They got, I jumped out that bitch and I fucking ran so far. My yeah, auntie, that shit's scary. I was, my auntie had to come find me on the bus stop. Like I was literally no. standing, standing on the bus. I was six year old. Then she was like, where the fuck do you think you going? No. Yeah. I was like, all the bus stops. And she was like, Jamar, they're not trying to kill you. Why would I take you here to try to kill you? And I was like, cause I'm bad. <laughs> Because the dentist can be fucking scary. If you have a bad experience as a kid, it stays with you too. My dentist used to do this shit. He did it for too long. I was like 15. I was like 15. He'd push my nose and pretend like my nose was moving the seat up. Oh. I was like, here's the thing. Oh. I've already gone through puberty. I'm technically a, an adult woman. I'm getting my period. I don't think you pushing my nose is going to do the trick anymore, sir. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, man. So I just stopped, fuck, I just stopped fucking with the dentist. Yeah? I don't fuck with the dentist. Well, what about like a cleaning? A I don't fuck routine, with no cleaning. A little routine cleaning. I don't fuck with no routine We got to get cleaning. you an electric toothbrush. I ain't fucking with nothing that'll help my teeth out. No? Hell no. Hell no. You're keeping the gap for life. For my motherfucking life. Well, the gap fits you. Have yeah. you been making any more things out of cardboard for a while? During the pandemic. I was a cobbler. You were you were a tinkerer. You were tinkering with cardboard in and making trains and planes and all kinds of shit. Automobiles. Automobiles, right, yeah. Right now I'm making an OJ crime scene. What do you mean? That's what I said. <laughs> I'm making you, a OJ Did you kill a white bitch? No. What do you mean you're I making? I don't murder. What people. do you mean you made a OJ Simpson crime scene? I got a uh I have a um I got an OJ Simpson doll. 
and I got like a, a from white. where? I bought it online. Does it look like him? It looks exact. It just showed. Uh, you bought a doll of OJ Simpson offline. Yeah, and then I had a. Um, <laughs> okay, can we? I'm is there to, like a random doll we can p- just pull up? The OJ Simpson doll. Try to see. Uh, put put OJ Simpson doll for sale. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Not for D sale. Okay, okay. And just go to images. Did it come with the Bronco? Uh go to go to figurine. I mean, type like like uh, OJ Simpson <laughs> figurine. Okay, OJ Simpson figurine for sale. So you bought an OJ Simpson figurine. Oh, where is it? Okay, so, so okay, okay, that one, that one, that one. Click on that. That. Click on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you bought. Yeah. So I bought this thing right here. Okay. And then I um I took off I took off like all the clothes off of it and shit. And I bought like a uh, I bought him a suit, like a suit or whatever that he wore <laughs> like in the trial kind of sort of. But the one yeah. I got is blue is blue or whatever. And then I had a. And then I had put some blood on it and all kind of shit. And I got a Barbie doll. And then I, yep, Was that's that the Nicole? one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got and Nicole then, Brown too. Yeah. And then I and I bought like these knives and shit no, online. Oh God, I bought these. I bought these. I bought these <laughs> knives online. They're like these little knives, or whatever. And then I put like the the Nicole head like on the knife. So no, OJ's like holding it like this, no. and it's like bloody. And then I put like these uh these red eyes on them, so when it glow in the dark or whatever, it's like red eyes. <laughs> no, it's fucking crazy. And I'm gonna sell it for a million dollars. When? When? <laughs> I don't know. Are you gonna sell it, it at the comedy store? No, 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 no. I'm building up this art show. You're doing an art show? Um, yeah. I have two pieces right so far. <laughs> so far, it's the OJ murder scene, and and I, and I made this uh this uh this Joe Rogan um I remade his studio. You remade his studio? Do you I made have a picture like a, of that? Yeah, it's actually on my gram. You oh. never seen this shit? I don't know. I don't know. See. You get when you have downtime, you get creative. On God. So I put it on God so you know it's real. Yeah. Do you mm. like acting more than stand up? Hell yeah. You stand do? up ain't shit. You like acting more? Hell yeah. Why? Because it's funner. It's like it's just fun. It's like um I, I don't know. It doesn't. You get another chance to do it if you fuck up. With you know? stand up. No, with um. With stand up, you feel like it's. Oh, you mean you don't get a second take? Yeah, yeah. You don't get a second take. You gotta wait to your next spot to do that shit. Right. What are you looking up over there? I just told you what I'm looking up. I forgot already. You're not, not paying attention to my to my to my <laughs> to my to my interview. I made this. Oh, Remember that one? that's the Joe Rogan studio. Do you see that? Can we pull that up on the big? It's like a whole diorama. That's sick. That's going to be at the art show with the OJ scene. Yeah. The art show is sick, dude. You're okay. So you dropped your special too. You like it? Yes. You didn't even watch it. I watched some of it. Why you watch the whole thing? It's too much Jamar. It's too much Jamar. I get it. I said, if I want to see him, I'll just see him in real life. I'm a rarity. No, I know you're a rarity. You're a star. I am a rarity. How you, dare you? You are a rarity and a star. And I love that you had your mohawk on for it. It's called Rotten Luther King. Junior. Yes. Wait, go go, wait, go up. Over. Oh. This one right here. Oh, underneath the Magnum condom <laughs> on his wait, uh, wait, Instagram what does that say? page. Putting this African-American spy balloon in your bitch pussy tonight. <laughs> no, not that one. This one. Click on that one. <laughs> okay. I just wanted you guys to see this, that. To okay, see now go on to the um. Now go on to the um. He just wanted us to see him shirtless. This motherfucker. Uh, what? Well, it's on there somewhere. Where? It's on there somewhere. You just gotta keep scrolling, dude. Keep scrolling. Okay, we're scrolling. It's it's on there somewhere. <laughs> Are you just trying to get to get us to scroll through all of your your artwork? <laughs> yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Is this a ploy? <laughs> Feels like a ploy. Mm, trying to get that clout. Wait, <laughs> where is the on it? Where's it's, the Joe it's, Rogan? It's studio? like all the way down, though. It's like, <laughs> are you lying? I put the. I literally was on my gram. 
You gotta scroll all. Oh, oh, there it is. Go up. Go up. Boom. This thing. Okay. That's sick. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Is that in a fish tank? Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fish tank for it? Yeah. Go to the second picture so we can see it. Wow. How mm. long? Oh my God. Troll dolls? Yeah. What it's, is up with all the trolls? They're trying to Troll? take over the studio. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to make you one of this too. You are? I could do this whole thing. You could? Have you ever been to the Chicago Art Institute? No. You guys been to it? Oh. What they, happens at the Chicago Art Institute? It wasn't expecting you to say that. Why? Because you don't think I'm smart? Co- no, I just forget how complex of an individual you are. You think I'm dumb? No, you come at me with random facts about rats. I don't think you're dumb. Yeah, I do. I be hitting he, motherfuckers with them, rat, with them rat facts. He says, you know, what is it about their teeth? Oh, did you know that their teeth like they keep, oh this thing, and then go to and then go to the um go to the diorama, uh, go to Chicago Art Institute and then go to uh, oh the exhibitions. When were you in Chicago Art Institute? From the eleventh through the I saw her shit. Was it cool? It was cool. It was tight. Salvador Dali, that's cool. Yeah, I saw a lot of original art pieces up in there. That was crazy. It was mad crazy, son. <laughs> what are you looking for? A diorama? Oh, 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 oh that, that thing right there. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, no, no. That's not it. I don't know. It's so much. Anyway, it was good, though. It was real cool. Uh, just put, like, diorama or something like that, like Chicago Art Institute, and then put uh, interior diorama. So where can people find your special? YouTube? Uh, in the trash. That shit was ass. It was not <laughs> ass. What do you mean? No. You didn't even watch it, Sarah. That's I watched, why you couldn't. I even, watched, you couldn't even get through it. I watched a chunk of it. Really? And then I oh. said, "I'm going to see his ass in person." So why oh. would I watch his entire special? Oh my god! What? These, right? So that looks like a a miniature room. Yeah. Okay. But look, look at that. They designed it like how I designed that Rogan thing. Yeah. But it's just a miniature, like that shit is. You're a insane, diorama dude. king now. Yeah. Um, you can find it on YouTube. So it's yeah. called Rotten Martin Luther King Jr. You can find Rotten it. Rotten Luther King Jr. Rotten Luther King Jr. You yeah. can find it on YouTube. And he's got a mohawk in it. Can we pull it up real quick? Why? So one We're gonna people- all watch it right now together. No, We're gonna- I just want people to know where can, to find it. Can we pick up where, where Sarah left off? What? On on this special? <laughs> <laughs> the exact spot oh, i left off damn on. good hey sarah yeah did i ever tell you that i found uh, i found another girl who liked to be walked like a dog <laughs> you told me that in a text message over the weekend did i tell you that yeah oh my god that's did she a real request thing. that that's a real thing did she i rec- said what else do you like yeah and she was like oh i like i like leashes yeah that's what she said. She didn't say I like to be walking like a dog. She said I like I like leashes. leashes yeah, and that's the, like, that's the nice way to say I like to be lo- walk like a dog. And I said, "What are you doing?" These? I said, "What?" Are, I said, "What's the leash for?" You know. And yeah. then she said, "Oh, um, so you can like um, control me or or some some bullshit like that." And I was like, "I don't want to, I don't want to control you. Like I don't want to like you're not in it. you're not into it." I, is that is that abuse? Like. If they're requesting that you walk them like a dog, it's not abuse. Oh, but this is the thing that women like. Yeah. Wow. Leashes. Damn. Collars and leashes. I think it's overcompensating. For what? For um for um for just I bad pussy. You're like my pussy's bad. I need to be walk like a dog. No. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> oh, oh. That's not it. It's oh. not overcompensating. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cause that's why, I, yeah. Okay. That's what were you? What, that's you why like, I eat. That's why I eat ass like a lot. Why? Because I was like, well, you know, my pussy is trash. What? Your pussy eating is trash. <laughs> so you only eat ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to find a butthole than it is the clitoris. <laughs> I mean, that checks out. Look at your hair. Did you paint that yourself? Oh yeah, you like it. Hmm. I say a lot of N words in it. Four hundred and thirty thousand of them. No, you don't have an actual count. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so where did you record it? At Pan Pacific Park. When did you record it? June. Last June? June, yeah, 18th. Juneteenth. Look at that big ass fake gold chain. Hell yeah. Oh my God. It looks real. Dude. Do you love Matt Rife? Yeah. Yeah. That's my nigga. Matt Rife? Yeah. Anyway, right. so what's up, Ma? How you doing? Um, Enough about me. What's going on with you? What's going? I saw you on your on this fool, and I like that you're a cupcake chef. You like that? Yeah. Really? Have Do you guys seen him on that? Yeah, He's a yeah, cupcake yeah. chef, and he has a cute little hat. You like cupcakes? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. What's duh. Your, what's your favorite? I hope next this season though we're making uncrustables. No, you're not. From scratch. You're not making uncrustables. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, I am. No, you're not on this fool. Yes, I am. You're making uncrustables? No, you're not. <laughs> I'm going to pitch it, though, I'm for gullible. sure. I'm gullible. I believe everything. It, yeah. What else? Have you had any other crazy experiences with dating? Because I know you get- Dating? Yeah, you get crazy. Mm. You get into some shit. I know it. Me? Yes. Let me see. <laughs> no, but I was telling the homie, like- one time in New York, maybe like seven years ago, I ate this girl's ass for four hours. Straight. <laughs> no. Straight. <laughs> nah. Straight. No chaser. <laughs> no chaser. No chaser? No chaser. Not even a little salt? No. You no. Just, <laughs> just pure ass? Seven hours. Ass. <laughs> pure. Ass. Pure ass. Pure ass. <laughs> Not the pussy. The ass. 17 hours straight. <laughs> I thought it was four. All gas, all gas, no brakes. <laughs> God damn it. No, it was four hours. Four hours? I remember that. Four. I wasn't on a pill, no nothing. That was just all me. That was all you? Yeah, that was all God. Just hungry. <laughs> He's just hungry. Hungry for that ass. Chewing that ass. <laughs> no, I'm not chewing it. I don't like that noise that you're making at all. If someone was chewing on my ass and that's what it sounded like, I'd ask them to stop. For real? Yeah, I'm going to need you to stop this ass. That was like, yeah, four hours straight. Four hours straight? Yep. No chaser. No chaser. No Gatorade. No Gatorade. No Powerade. No Powerade. No water. All me. No Nesquik. <laughs> no, remember Nesquik? Why we don't do that no more? The strawberry milk? I don't know why we don't do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, sex is fun, man. Sex? It's good, man. What about you? You getting walk like a dog? No. What? I'm I'm a prude. Now I'm prude. Man, I'm going to take you to the dog pound. See if I find you an owner. <laughs> <laughs> you and this bitch that I was used to talk to. So she was just like, I want you to walk me like a dog. And then you no, said no. She, no. Didn't say, she didn't say she wants me to walk her like a dog. She said, she didn't literally say that. She said, oh, I like a, um, I like a leash. Oh, she said I like a yeah. leash. But, but then when you go to like these, well, sometimes when you go to like clubs, like a like little rave and stuff like that, you be seeing chicks with the. Collars. Well, yeah, with the collars yeah. and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's what that's for. Or they may be into that. Yeah, probably. That's cool. Yeah. We're really getting you, down to you the ever been to, of you ever been to Club life. Hell? Club Hell? No. Off of, um over there on um what is that? Like like over there off Schrader or like Hudson or some shit. Whatever it's like a little it's not a sex club, but they do like a bunch of Dom shit. Club Hell? Mm-hmm. No, I've never been to Club Hell. Do I seem like I'd go to Club yeah, yeah, Hell? Off high, uh, I mean Yes. I give Club bit. Hell energy. Yeah, 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 it's a goth nightclub. Yeah, and um, they be doing like uh, and they and they be up in there doing dom shit. I don't want to get publicly like spanked. Why? How many stars does it have? Because like, <laughs> I yeah. can do that at home. <laughs> it only has three stars. <laughs> Club Hell only has three stars. Well, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. And look at that. Who the, 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 the fuck is that guy? The ad is scary. <laughs> is that Soulja Boy? I don't know. <laughs> he says hookah boys. Hi, my name is DJ Smooth from NYC. <laughs> All right. I'm definitely not going to Club Hell. Why? Have you been? Yeah, I went. And uh, report back. Tell I was just, us. I was, give just us wa I was just watching. Watching what? 
Like, okay, so I went, um, it's actually happened on, uh... Debrief us on Club Hell. Come on. It was like, um... Don't hold back. Where did I go with? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I went with, um... I went with, um... I'll write it down. <laughs> Why? You won't say it? Mm-mm. It's because I don't, I don't want to, like... Blow up their it. spot yeah. like that? Yeah, you don't do that. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, that's who you went to club hell with. <laughs> and 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 a, and a, and, a, and, a, and her friend or whatever. And then so they like so they so they were getting like they she works there. And then so some dom shit was happening or whatever. And then um they took me upstairs to this room, and um and I was watching people just get spanked. And then um she was like, "Do you want to spank me?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> You said no. I was like, no, because I don't know how to spank. I don't know how to like, like Dom spank or whatever. Like I could whoop you like you a bad kid. Like <laughs> I, I got whooped. <laughs> I could do that shit. <laughs> I feel like I'd be doing it all wrong. Like didn't I tell you <laughs> to not bring me up here? You <laughs> don't run for me. Don't run for me. Like that's how I would do it, and I don't think that that's sexy at all. So you went to Club Hell. Yeah. With. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when and then she wanted you to spank her. No, 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 not her. She oh, had a friend. She had a friend. She had a friend that I that I went with. Oh, like like she worked there, but her friend also worked there, so we all went oh, together. You're deep in the club hell scene. No, no, I went there. I went <laughs> it there seems like, like twice. it. I went there with my mohawk, and everybody thought I was the fucking man. Yeah. You know. And I, I bet you walk in the club hell with that mohawk for sure. People think you're the man. Oh yeah. They're like, oh, daddy's home. Club hell. Club hell, daddy's home. <laughs> Satan's here, baby. Satan's here. Yeah. The black Satan. <laughs> um. And so you said, so you didn't spank her. her no, friend. no, no. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Um. I didn't do it. Well, the, it is weird that it's like a public. Because I don't know how to do it. Like in the way, it, well, I was watching other people do it, and they were like, they "I had, feel like you could figure it out." Well, they had like a they had like a little they had like a little baton or whatever or whatever. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so black. <laughs> I'm like, a baton. Yeah, they had like a little nightstick. <laughs> <laughs> like, and they were they were beating people to their black and blue, like nah. And then the way they were doing it, it was just like one smack, like. And I was like, y'all niggas is paying how much to do this to they're her? Get, they're like, paying? They're paying to dom, to like dom chicks or whatever. I thought doms get paid. I mean, I don't, I don't even know. How, again, again. How does, dom, how does it work? I don't know. You're the one who likes to get walk. You know? I, I did say on one podcast that I like to get walk like a dog and it is haunting me for forever. <laughs> don't go on guys we fucked and tell everyone you like to be walk like a dog. <laughs> It will follow you everywhere for the rest of your life. It's pretty cool, um, uh, because you're not you're not the only one out there. There's lots of there's How lots do of I us find dog a dom? <laughs> How do I find a dom? How do you find a dom in real life? Let's see what let's see what let's see what Google says. How do you find a dom? Hello, chief. I've been thinking a lot about being an adopt. This is. This is wild. It's sex getting out of control. Do you like electricity? No. You in electricity? No. Are you? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know either, but I did match with this guy who was like, I have electricity and I like doing it in the bedroom and I unmatched him because that scared me. What? Electricity? That's crazy. I get electrocuted. I'm like, I just want to come. I don't want to yeah, get yeah. electrocuted. All this for a nut is uh, insane. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, just make me nut. Like, <laughs> like, I don't need to be electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh happening? God. Is this a science experiment or are we fucking? Like, it's fucking insane. It's like, just make me nut, man. Just make me nut. <laughs> just make me nut, man. Man. Have you been shopping recently? Have you bought anything else cool? Besides this really awesome jacket with Pepe. This jacket was a gift. Oh. Uh, I got this. Oh, yeah. I, I did a lot of. Um, I've been into hats lately. Hats? Yeah, I bought hats. I've been buying hats. That one? Yeah, I bought this one. That's cool. Uh, hats and um, what have I bought? Hats and. Mm, I haven't bought any real clothes. I think like a, a, a zip. Or not a zip up. Like a Pendleton, I think. It was like the last thing I bought. Um, do you still buy clothes? Yeah, of oh, course. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'm a fucking shopper. You know this. Yeah, but I'm you like, don't invite me to go shopping. 
You only invite me to your auntie's barbecues like two minutes before. What's wrong with that? Because I'm never available. Because it's always like, you, you want to go right now. Come on, there's going to be good food. We're going to drink. It's going to be so much fun. And then sometimes I invite you like the day before. And you're like, well, when is she having uh, another uh, another <laughs> one? Not true. And I'm like, and I'm like, you know, you just don't be wanting to go. I do want to go. Because every you, time Kim goes, I she says she has fun. Hood. I think you scared of the hood. I'm not scared of the hood. You I'm scared. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Shanky takes the hood. Take me. I told you. You scared. I'll go to so. the hood. I'll bring my abundance candles. We'll make it happen. For real. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> See, Kim's spontaneous. She'll go. Oh, you're saying Kim's more spontaneous than me? I mean, yeah. She's, you think that? Yeah. I mean. I, did she, Kim go to a craft fair yesterday? No. What is that? I was at a craft fair yesterday. What did, what did Being it do? Being spontaneous. Oh, I think I saw that. Buying berets. I think I saw Steph, that. Some bari. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Steph spontaneous. All my friends are spontaneous because I am spontaneous too. All right. You want to go to the hood right now? The hood right now? No, because yeah. I have to do another podcast See? after this. It's excuse at the excuse at the excuse. You don't have to do this podcast. I got to go to the hood with Jamar. <laughs> what would so we funny. do in the hood if we went right now? Mm, just, just go to my auntie's house and talk shit for a little bit. Hang out with my brother and um, listen to him talk. My brother's a mortician now. My what? big brother's a mortician now. And he I just what? like pulling up to hear his stories. No, he's not a mortician. <laughs> he's a mortician. Are you now. lying? No, I'm not. He's literally What's like he like, mortician. yeah, when I was embalming this guy last week. Is it like that? Sometimes. Sometimes. No. sometimes. <laughs> he be showing me like pictures of like dead bodies of them niggas and shit. He'd no, like, he doesn't. He'd be, I swear to God, he'd be like, yo, man, this nigga right here, this no. nigga was in the house for a whole motherfucking month. Look at this nigga with his mouth all open and shit. I mean, You're lying. Yeah. Yeah, and he be like, "You're uh, crazy. You're just saying this like it's normal shit." Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. Because I it mean, is normal to you. It's not normal to me because I've never had a mortician in the family or whatever. <laughs> like, but like he, um, yeah. So this is what he does now. Let me see. No, I don't have pictures of the dead bodies. Oh or anything damn! Like that. I was like. I was invested. He, he was showing me pictures of like, oh, some people like died in like water or whatever. So like, they're like really like they get pruny. Like, yeah, yeah, that or whatever. He has to pick that up and all that shit. And sometimes he's doing it by himself. He has and to do what? Stuff. Sometimes he's picking up these bodies like by himself and like all this shit. Like it, like it is crazy. But he always come back. He'd be like, man. He'd be like, uh, he'd be like, man, that shit just be making me appreciate life, man. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> I was like that's crazy, dude. That is fucking crazy. So it, what do you? What do morticians even do? Do you put them in their clothes? You're like, I got to dress up some, this body. Sometimes for, he dresses them. Sometimes does he, he do their makeup? Sometimes he does their makeup. No. Yeah, uh, yeah. He be saying crazy shit though. He be like, man, sometimes I be making them niggas look mad. No. And then he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he be like, he be like, sometimes I be making them niggas look uh, happy. He was like, no. He was like, but they don't let you like, they don't let you like send them off like that. So no. I be erasing their faces, making them no. <laughs> like, no. Be, I like all these weird stories. No. He's so silly, dog. Like. They don't let you just send them off like clown makeup. Hell no. And then he was like, he was like, man, sometimes the motherfuckers be sending me out there by myself with their little company truck. And then he was like, I'm because my little brother is, I mean, my big brother is, he's smaller than me. He's like shorter and smaller in stats or whatever. He goes, uh, he goes, um, he's probably like 130 pounds or whatever, but he be having to move like big ass fucking like people. So no, sometimes, so no. sometimes they send him out there like by himself. So that he was no. looking like, man, he was like, I'm sick of that shit. He was like, next time these motherfuckers see me out there to go pick up a big motherfucker, he said, I'm going to take the dead body. He said, I'm no. a, he said, he said, I'm going to take the dead body. I'm going to put it up in a company truck in the front seat. And I'm going to drop the motherfucking truck off to him with the damn dead body in the no, front. No, I was no. like, Lamar is retarded. No. My big brother is the funniest nigga ever. <laughs> no. He don't do it, but he worries. How would do, do you it. become a mortician even? Do you have to go to school to become a mortician? I don't know. Let's Google. Yeah. I, I feel like his homie hooked him up with the job. Is there a, <laughs> <laughs> like, is there a master class on how to be a mortician? Right, right. Like what? How to become a mortician? Graduation, accredited, funeral service. Education. I don't feel like he got that. Go to King King Cart can morticians make a lot of money. With oh. an annual salary of sixty. You get that money. 
<laughs> you get money. Can you make six figures as a mortician? And sometimes he'd be moving. I'm not gonna say just out of respect. I'm not gonna say like like the celebrity is his name or whatever. But like he, uh, this nigga said, um, this nigga said, uh, "Hey man, guess who mama I had to move today? I mean, guess who mama I had to go pick up?" I said, "Who?" He said, uh, "He said blank 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 mama." And I was like, "Can y'all blur shit out or like beep shit out?" Yeah. yeah. Will you bleep beep it out? Yeah. yeah. So I can get the full story. Okay. Uh, he was like, uh, he was like, uh, he was like, guess who mama I picked up today? I said, who? He was like. Mama, no. And I said, I said, what? The basketball player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, what? He was like, yeah. He, I was at the like, damn. I was all starstruck. I was like, for real? No. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, what she look like? He was like, dead, nigga. No, he was like, he no, was like, no. He was like, he was like, dead. And then he was at the like, man, I had to pick that big bitch up by my motherfucking self, man. I was mad. No. And I said, that's <laughs> mama, nigga. I said, damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like what I said. Oh, I said, I said, oh, for real? He was like, yeah. And then he was like, you starstruck, nigga? And I was like, he was like, he was like, he was like nah, I was, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, that's crazy. That bro. is so crazy. That's crazy. Dude, just the thought of having to be in charge of a dead body. No thanks. Yep. And then he said, like, sometimes, like, like the bot, like the bodies be kind of like, um, we could change subjects. Anyway. <laughs> sometimes the bodies be like, what? You know, so if they're sitting for a while or whatever, like they like they like rot, they stink, and all this shit or whatever. They smell. Yeah, and they and they like this. since the body is like blubbery, so it kind of like because I like. Can you not use off. the word blubber? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Fucking. They don't. It don't slip off the bone, but it kind of like you know, kind of like, separates. Know. Like the flesh comes off the bone. Some weird shit like that. Anyway, how have you been? I mean. I was getting into this grossness. Yeah. This dead body talk was, you were taking me on a journey. Now yeah. And now you just brought me back. First club hell, then the mortician. I mean, dark. the whole episode has been kind of dark. Sorry. Have you noticed the trend? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's like, yeah, I go to club hell looking like Satan. Anyway, no, I do let's not talk, do that. Let's talk just dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I just got baptized no, you didn't. in some blood. I had a teacher in middle school who said, "If in case you're in an emergency, you can baptize someone with orange soda. Oh, for real? I'm like, what kind of emergency would you be in where you're like, give me that crush. <laughs> I got to get that original <laughs> sin off this guy. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Not the damn crush. A sun kissed. But like you'd have to fill the whole bathtub up with that shit and then like baptize him. Like how, how is that like? What does that have to do with God? She said, if there's an emergency and someone hasn't been baptized and they're about to die, you get out the orange soda or whatever liquids around and you baptize them. Mm. That's weird. Who right? told you that? My teacher in seventh grade uh, <laughs> at that, Catholic school. That bitch she, retarded. She said she was a science teacher and she was telling us to baptize uh, in an emergency, baptize with uh, sun kissed. When would you ever have to emergency baptize somebody? Oh, oh, like right before they like, or right about, before you like. They're like dying and they're like about to die. And you're like, I have this orange soda. Oh, repent and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Like they're fucking Kel from fucking uh, all that and shit. Like, I feel like that's how he got baptized. Keenan and Kel. Kel. You, did you ever see, you ever, you ever see that shit? When yeah. He, like, he like, he was obsessed with orange, orange soda. Orange soda, yeah. Yeah. Orange soda, whatever though. Orange soda. I mean, the scariest thing about all that is Amanda Bynes. Whatever happened to no no. She's Whatever happened great. to Lori Bev Denberg, bro? She was a beast. Remember Lori Bev Denberg? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought she was gonna like. Where is Lori Bev Denberg? What's her last name? Denberg. Lori Bev Denberg. I almost said Dingberg, and that seemed wrong. I hate long ass text messages. Dude. What you got a long ass text message from yeah, someone? Yeah, I hate them. Did I you piss someone them. off? Probably, I think I'm just because I'm I'm like ghosting someone right now. You're ghosting a lady right now. Oh, fucks, oh, we're still in the dark. We're still being dark. What do you mean? Because <laughs> I said, oh, I'm ghosting. Well, what made you ghost? Um, just getting on my nerves. Just per, a person's trying to like move too fast and like all this stuff and like move in. No, like mm, like making like like just I'm just like no. Like what? Just like can we get on the same health insurance? Like, like that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, a little shit like that, no, a little shit like that. 
that's that's moving fast. Yeah. Can you lease a car for me? I'm like that? Like, <laughs> like that? And I always say, listen, man, <laughs> listen, woman, I'm about to move to Austin. Are you? And then they say, they say, oh, I can come with you and I can help you with things. And I was like, <laughs> I don't need help. Like, <laughs> I don't need help. Like, Do you want to move to Austin? Uh, I may go. For sure, I may go. Really? Yeah. And get a bunch of stage time? Yeah. I mean, they pay me more out there than they do out here. I mean, the comedy store pays and they pay good, but it's like, it's the only club out here for that I'm in that books me like regularly. So you don't think about going out there? I think about it. Yeah. But then you got your family out here. Yeah. Your family's out here too. You yeah. can't just go to your aunties in the hood if you're in Austin. Good. Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I may, I may go. You might go to Texas. Are you going to come with me? I might visit. You're going to visit? Oh, she's never going to move there. I'll visit. I'm a visitor. Lori Beth Denberg. Well, Dude, there she, she is. She looks exactly the same. I feel like it's wrong to call her a beast because she's a little oversized and you just keep calling her a beast. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I feel like that. You did, <laughs> you did that. You called her a beast. You said she kind of looks like a beast. I was like, no, I was talking about her talent. No, her talent. <laughs> beast like. You're an asshole. Her talent is, her talent is beast like. Dude. Lori Beth Dunberg, dude. Oh, she's an Aquarius like me. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. a new age king. People don't know that about you, but you are. I am. You're into you're into Reiki. Do you have you're any, into all the things. Do you have any animal facts for me? Animal facts. I have a fact for you about rats. All right. What about them? Their teeth just keep on growing and they gnaw them down. Oh, yeah. That's why they chew on things so they can <laughs> gnaw them down. Did you also know that they don't have a backbone? So that's how they get into like little spaces and stuff. They can put their heads and like, they, that's why they can get in like any, like they can get through here. They can no. get through like this space. Yep. Rats are so gross they to me. They can get through my gap. Uh, Easily. Uh huh. Ew! What if a rat went through the gap in your teeth? That'd, That'd be, be disgusting. Dude. Remember one time you came over and the first thing you said was, "I had a dream last night and I went in the fridge and I was small and everything was big." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like I had a dream that I opened up the refrigerator and then I, as soon as I opened it up, I got small and then I like hopped in and I was like walking around the refrigerator. <laughs> And uh, as soon as I went back out, I got big again. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Somebody, need, I need a dream interpreter. No, but that is funny. The thought of you being next to a big milk carton yeah, just in the yeah. fridge and like grapes and shit. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Yo. Honey, I, I shrunk the Jamar. Yeah. What, wait, I had an interesting dream the other day. Um, What was it? Oh. 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 I had a dream that we were that, that like I was in the hood and we were um having a gang fight, right? We were having a gang right, fight, right? Of course, casual. Um, uh huh. And then somebody said, and then somebody said, uh, somebody had hey, maybe somebody gave a friend a gun, and then he says, uh, and he said, well, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> and he was like, you know, just just in case you don't want to fight, you know, just <laughs> he was like, all right. <laughs> like, mm. I just remember that. And that was the whole dream. Yeah, and then I woke up and I was like, I was like, what? That's crazy. But then I just, and I was just thinking about it. I said, well, I said, I suppose that like maybe people who shoot people, it's just because they don't know what the fuck to do with their hands. You know? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like, you I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, <Yeah>. you're like, <laughs> like, like, because you could fight somebody or you could like sh shoot them, right? But I'd be thinking that the people who be like shooting, shooting people, people just don't know what to do with their hands. Like, I don't know. Like maybe their hands aren't strong. Like uh, like just <laughs> they just get a gun or like ah bang because if you're in a gang fight you, you get it. Well, here's the thing: you're having dreams Thoughts, about feelings. gang fights, but also going into the refrigerator and getting small. So what's going on in Jamar's brain is the real question. I don't know. Meanwhile, you're ordering parts for your O.J. Simpson uh, <laughs> diorama. <laughs> right. Right. You're a complex guy. Right. I guess this you're is swinging by Club Hell with your mohawk. Wait, hold the fuck up. You on to something. Yeah. Dude, I need to go get saved. 
<laughs> I, need to, I have some orange soda. Oh, my <laughs> brother doing the, my my brother doing the, doing the thing. The mortician. Holy shit! Yeah, you got to go sage yourself. Yeah, I got to go sage myself. Yeah. Yeah, damn dude. The mortician shit is real. That shit crazy. That has nothing to do with me though. I also did kind family. things. What do you mean? <laughs> you want to? You're gonna <laughs> I also start, did heavenly things. Are you too. gonna stop? Start dropping the kind things you've done. Yeah. All right. Let's let's hear. Okay. Well, there was a lady in Starbucks in New York. Okay. And um, she had a hunchback, like this. <laughs> Or whatever. I, it's like, I know what a hunchback is. You don't have to act out the hunch. <laughs> and then when she got up, when she got up, it looked painful for her to get up. And then she got up and she went to go um get her coffee. And then she, she was like this. Yeah, and then she got and she sat back down like, oh. And then I um as she was hunched over, I walked her back. Oh no, we got it. She was definitely hunched. Yeah. And I walked in back of her. And I was just like, "You gave her a massage? <laughs> no! Are you lying, Jamar? You're being you silly. Good? <laughs> Is you good? You didn't do that to her. I saw you hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me massage that all that tissue out that hump." <laughs> You did not massage did. a hump back to straight back. I, I, <laughs> I know you didn't. And I did it for an hour. You did not massage yeah, did. a stranger in a Starbucks with a hunchback for an hour. Oh, You're lying. God. <laughs> You're oh, so God, this silly. Feels good. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Jamar. And by the time I finished, her shit was flat. No. <laughs> 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 flat. <laughs> <laughs> You did not cure really a hunchback. <laughs> I think you were a hunchback. No, you didn't. I have a massage license. <laughs> <laughs> of course I can cure a hunchback <laughs> with, with these hands. Like <laughs> <laughs> The right oils. The right oils but can't make a, a straight uh hunchback go straight back. Uh <laughs> You're fucking crazy. I, but I didn't use oils though, so this is a testament as to how good I was. You don't just go into a Starbucks and start massaging a hunchback. I that do. would be the most <laughs> in New York. You can do anything. You say, <laughs> "Hey, girl, I'm gonna help you out." I say, "Hey, girl, I'm gonna help you out." I say, <laughs> "I say, hey, I saw you struggling there." And no, I you didn't. Like, <laughs> I don't believe you. And then she was like, "Oh God, <laughs> oh God!" And then she straightened up like that, and she's like, "Oh, got that confidence back." She's just standing straight like a ruler when you were done with her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Before she was like a bendy straw. Yep. And See, then, I didn't even have to use, I didn't have to use no Reiki, no nothing. That was just straight up all thumb. <laughs> You're <laughs> so all, lying. So all Shut all, up. All thumb pressure. <laughs> so that's one of the good things I did. Oh, he's a good Samaritan. He's a healer. Yep. Yeah, I'm right. When he's not at club hell. He's curing hunchbacks in Starbucks. Oh, my car is ready. Yes. What do you mean your car is ready? Oh, I went to go get it to get a tune-up. Oh, that's why you took the scooter. Yeah. You were probably going to get the car. Oh, that's why you were probably late. No, no, I was late because I just wasn't going to get here before you. And I respect that. You know, I was like, yeah, no. I was Tell literally me something else nice house. you've done for someone lately. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I was in New York again. <laughs> oh, it all conveniently seems to happen across the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I do all my dirt here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you repent on the East Coast. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, um, I, um, oh yeah. This old lady mm -hmm. was, um, she was trying to catch a cab. She had a little walker. And she had a little walker. This Show is, me how this is she set. was with the walker. It was like a little walker like this. She was, and she couldn't get to like, Stop that cab! Stop <laughs> that cab! And I was like, um, and I was like, oh, shit. And I said, hey, <laughs> hey, taxi. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you hell a taxi, right? <laughs> taxi. <laughs> and then he stopped or whatever. And I said, hey, my friend. And I said, this older Samaritan here. 
Samaritan? <laughs> <laughs> or or this uh, this old lady You're here. You're a good Samaritan. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and me. Anyway, this old lady here <laughs> needs a ride. And then he's like, well, where is she? No, no. He was like, well, where is she? And I said, she's right there. And she was taking forever to get there. Taking forever to get Did there. Did you carry her? So. <laughs> I can't. So. So I said, hold on. Let me go get her. No. And so she, I said, ma'am, hold on to your walker. And then she was like, okay. And I said, yeah. Nice. And I carried her all the way to the taxi. Just like did, this. Did you do a count? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and I picked her up. And I fucking put her in the back of the taxi. Now, this is fucked up, right? Because, you know, I, you know. Like like her her walker kept like getting jammed into the back thing, <laughs> yeah. whatever, like clink, 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 because I know how to maneuver that. Whatever. Once we With got all her the in. Tennis balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, and I put her in the back, I closed the door, and I gave the man twenty dollars. I said, take this woman to where she needs to go. I don't believe this. And then I for a second. Don't believe Zero it. percent chance. Don't believe it. You don't have to believe it. I'm still That's trying right. to believe the hunchback that you straightened. <laughs> my thumbs can straighten a hunchback. <laughs> oh my god! You should put that on your dating if I have profile. My, sense of, <laughs> my thumbs what? can cure a hunchback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. All thumb pressure, baby. <laughs> oh, my thumbs can cure a hunchback, yeah. and that's it. That's the only thing in your bio. Okay. 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 I wonder how many DMs you get if you put that. My thumbs can cure a hunchback. <laughs> I'm changing my profile. <laughs> to my, my thumbs could cure. Are you on Hinge? Yeah. Hinge got only has ugly bitches on there. Really? I just went back on Hinge. Oh, really? Well, because now it has one pretty <laughs> woman you. on there. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, no, I just went back on Hinge. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'm on Bumble again. Ooh, do you like it? Why? Don't the girls message you first on Bumble? Yeah, them hoes or whatever. I'm back. I'm going to go back on Raya. I, su- I see you there all the time. I see you on Raya all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, yeah. you ever leave? What do you mean you're going to go back? On Raya? Yeah. I stopped swiping because I don't do good on Raya out here. Yeah, because no one likes to actually meet up. No. They just like to match. Yeah, what's up with that? And then they'll be like, oh, we match. Cool. Now my ego feels good. Bye. I saw Demi Lovato on there. You did? Yep. I saw Demi Lovato on there. <laughs> did you swipe yes? Yeah, it's Demi Lovato. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had it for Demi Lovato like I, that. I, I don't, but it's Demi Lovato. You're going to swipe right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to hit it if you could. If given the opportunity, would you? It's Demi Lovato. Wait, let me see Demi Lovato. <laughs> It's Demi Lovato. Oh, well, 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 wait, 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 the tan Demi. Yeah. Do you think you, you show up to Demi Lovato's house with some Uncrustables? And you say, yeah. I can make your hunchback straight, bitch. You think, she has, you think she has a hunchback? Well, she won't after you're done with her. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Say it again. Say it again. He can use his thumbs to make even the hunchiest of hunchbacks straight. <laughs> Yeah, beat that tension out. Um, okay, so Demi Lovato is a yes for you. I saw Miley Cyrus on her way back when. Really? Hey, I got a story about Miley Cyrus. You want to hear well, it? Yeah, we all want to hear it. Okay. Everyone wants to hear this. Is this is this it's, true? It's not, it's not. It's not like it's not like, like, like nothing super crazy. I just uh, remember her Hannah Montana days. Yeah. So well, um, like early on, we were doing the the open mic at the Improv. Uh huh. Um, so it's probably like 2009, eight, maybe 2008, 
And um, so we were showing up there, whatever, standing in line or whatever. You know how we'd be standing out there riffing or whatever, waiting for the list to come out yeah. or whatever. And then so down the street, there's a Pilates studio, right? And yeah. People go in, right? So then um, hanging around, I think um, I think Jay Mandium's out there. A few people are out there or whatever. And, um, you know, I'll talk to anybody. So I don't- I You? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, so these two girls walk by. I don't know who the fuck they are. Whatever. I'm just being stupid and talking shit or whatever. And I said, hey- I said, hey, girl. And I said, uh, I said, you like niggas, right? I said, you like niggas? You and the niggas? <laughs> and then she looked at her own girl and then, and then she like laughed or whatever. And she just kept on walking or whatever. And then Jay, uh, Mandy walks up to me. He's like, do you know who that was? And uh-huh. I was like, no. He was like, this, 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 it's Miley Cyrus. And I no. said, I said <laughs> and at this time I was like, who the fuck is Miley Cyrus? That's so And then wild. he was like, you know, Hannah Montana. And I was like, I don't watch that shit. And then he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Well, like, that's, 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 that's the story. That's wild. Yeah. So did you slide into Demi's DMs? No, she didn't swipe. No, she didn't. She didn't click on she me. Didn't she didn't on click on you, on but you I clicked mean, on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes like when you see someone like that and they pop up in your head, you're like, they're going to click on me. Do you feel like that? No, I didn't even, I didn't have confidence. You didn't, you I didn't, didn't have, have conf- confidence like that? I didn't have confidence that she was going to click on me. No, I did not. Oh, okay. I have not dated a celebrity in my life. I have not. Well, do you think you would like that? To date or like. Define date <laughs> to have intercourse with. Yes. Yeah. To date. Uh, it depends on who. It depends on who. Yeah. They're all women. It don't matter if they're a celebrity. Right. They're all. Yeah. They're all women. <laughs> you know. Well, you are uh, one of my favorite people. Thank you for coming on the podcast. For real? Yeah. You really appreciate this time we spent together? Yes, I always appreciate the time that we spend together. You're an excellent planner. Thank you. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an amazing planner. I'm sorry I'm so spontaneous. One day I'm going to take <laughs> you to the hood. Okay? When are you going to take me to the hood? I All need right. 72 hours notice. When I come back from my sabbatical, what we're going to go to the hood. Where are you going? You know how you be in the industry for so long that you don't really get a break? So you need to go. <laughs> right. So you need to just go to the woods somewhere and yeah, just. Yeah, why do you think I live in the woods? Oh, that's right. You sabbatical in every day. <laughs> yeah, every she day. She stays sabbatical. In- yeah. <laughs> that's why I need 72 hours if you're trying to invite me somewhere because I'm on sabbatical. Oh, that's why. That's Shanky's, why. <laughs> Shanky does sabbatical 24 7. Okay. That's I- a lifestyle. Well, after my sabbatical, I'll hit you up if the family's What's doing sabbatical? something. What's sabbatical? Stop saying it. I like saying sabbatical. <laughs> oh, my I told my sister that I was going on a sabbatical. She was like, oh, so Lisa left that Lopez shit? <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, I got nothing to cure. I'm fine. I, said, <gasps> I just need to go yell in the woods for 10 days. I'm like. <laughs> Are you really going to go on a sabbatical? Yeah. Okay. Well, when you get back from your sabbatical, um, you're taking me to the hood. No, I'm going to Austin after that. Oh, well, I might be in Austin at the same time. When? I'm going to Austin next week on Sunday. I'm going to go after the 16th. Okay, well, we'll just miss each other. Oh, uh, boo fucking who. Okay, well, where can people find you? And do you have in any- Africa. Sh- on your sabbatical? In Africa. <laughs> with all the lions and the naked women. <laughs> That's my vacation. That's sabbatical in the <laughs> That's a That's sabbatical. And all the innocent children crying, <laughs> wanting food. And I'm going out there and pouring this in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? To feed the kids. Got to feed Africa. <gasps> That's my foundation. Got to feed Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so dumb. <laughs> No, uh, 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 where can they find me? Uh, I'm on, you can, Rodden Luther King Jr. Dot com. That's where my special is. And, um, we'll link to that in the description. Uh, this full season two should be coming out real soon. Oh, hell yeah. Um, that's and, on Hulu. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Uh, that's where Chris Estrada, Frankie Keon is. Uh, what's, what's my man's, uh, you know, Jake Wiseman and Matt Ingerson, they, they, yeah, did, yeah they did corporate and yeah. that's their show. And, uh, that, and, um, I don't know, I'm just around here doing stand up. Okay. I'm about to stand up. Cool. Thank you so much, Shanky. Thank you for I, I coming always on. love coming best. over here fucking with you. Love you, <laughs> love you to so pieces. much. And thank you guys for listening and watching another episode of Shank. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and review. And if you're going to be, if you're in Texas next week, I'm going to be there May 10th with Kim Congdon. We're coming to Sunset Room. Uh, look out for tickets. I'm going to be there too. You are? Okay. 
We'll see you next week on Chain. Thank you. Bye.